1,632 American dead, $443 billion. That's what 10 years in Afghanistan has cost. It has purchased a decade without another attack on American soil from Al Qaeda in Afghanistan. Tonight, President Obama will tell the nation the time has come to wind down the war. As with everything in Afghanistan, his decision is controversial. We have four reports tonight on this turning point for America. First, Chip Reed at the White House. Chip, what has the president decided to do? Scott, the president has decided to start bringing troops home from Afghanistan next month, just as he promised a year and a half ago. In tonight's address from the White House, the president will tell a nation that has grown deeply weary of the war in Afghanistan that the withdrawal of troops will begin next month, that 10,000 troops will come out by the end of this year, and that all 33,000 surge troops will be withdrawn by September 2012. That will leave nearly 70,000 troops. The president has promised to withdraw those by the end of 2014. He'll respond to those who want a much faster withdrawal by reminding them that the purpose of this war is to protect the American people by defeating al-Qaeda so they can never again use Afghanistan to launch attacks on the United States as they did on 9-11. And he'll tell those who want a slower withdrawal, including Pentagon officials who fear losing the ground they've gained, that this more expedited timetable is made possible by their success on the battlefield, highlighted by the killing of Osama bin Laden. Now, there's one important factor in his decision the president is not expected to talk about tonight. Politics. The liberal base of the Democratic Party is furious over his policy in Afghanistan. They want the troops home now, and he needs their support as the presidential campaign heats up. Now, this drawdown he's going to announce tonight is not expected to make them happy, but it might make them a little less angry. Thanks, Chip.